please give it up for Fantastic Voyage Improv. Hello! Look, it's tens of people. <laughs> we are Fantastic Voyage. Give it up for that. Yes, we do short form improv troupe while we stand on cable. <laughs> Danger. Danger. We're in the cable zone. How this works is that we come up here and we do a short form scene based on audience suggestions. So, who has seen a short form show before? Go woo! Woo! And who hasn't? Go nah. <laughs> we've got a breathy laugh back <laughs> So, I'm, I'm guessing we've all seen it. So, let's, let's just practice suggestions. It's early in the morning. So, let's, let's, let's all get on together. <laughs> <laughs> It's early. <laughs> They're laughing always. at me. Time is relative. To, what? These people have been up since Friday. <laughs> <laughs> what are your names? Do you know your names? Shout them. Good, we all know our names. <laughs> How about our favorite colors? Do we know our favorite colors? Blue. All right, what's our favorite book? No one reads here. <laughs> So I'm going to get right to it. Here's the troop. That's Bill. Clap for Bill. That's Mahmoud. Clap for Mahmoud. That's Blake. Clap for Blake. That's Steve. Clap for him. That's Matt. Clap for him too. And this is Becca on the Cleves. Clap for her. I'm Zach. You our first game is called Lego Stories, and how that works is we're going to build a scene for you one word at a time, kind of like Legos. So, could I get two people up, and could I get a suggestion of something that you might find in a junk drawer at home? Rubber bands. Rubber bands. Let's do a scene about rubber Okay, okay, okay. okay. They're going to do a scene based on rubber bands, one word at a time. If they say more than one word, I'm going to call them out. If they start being boring, I'm going to call them out. If this, this story doesn't make sense, I'm going to call them out. And if I like it, they're going to come forward and do a scene based on what they had just said. So, take it away, rubber bands. Once I shot a rubber band at my mother, and she disgustedly caught it. Oh. <laughs> Get out! That's two words, Bill. Rubber bands, go. Ouch! Don't hit me with that rubber band, she said. Okay. Fine, I won't do that, but you will eat milk. Get out of here, that's not a word. <laughs> milk. Uh, how about another word? We don't like rubber bands, I guess. Uh, how about something that you might find in a water park? A water park. Slides. 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 Beware of the big slide, because it is catching people unaware and... Throwing them into the swamp. So you better smell like flowers when you go down the slide because you otherwise will die. Let's see it! <laughs> All right, next up for the slide. Come here. Come here. Hold on. Hold on. I, it's lavender. I probably probably will be okay. Go ahead. Okay, but uh, I, I I see that it goes up in the air and, and lands on the marsh. Go, no, but go, no, what go. about the marsh? Go! Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait, wait! No, no! Can you come come with me? No, no! Please! Go! Uh, no, no! You you smell of tulips. I need that. I need that as help. You can't have my smell. <laughs> Is this your shirt? Yeah! How about a suggestion of something that you might find on top of a mountain? A goat. A goat. A goat. I like goats. My goat went to the top of a mountain. And I just said that. You right? <laughs> no, boring. <laughs> let's do my, let's do goat again. Man, 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 man. Said. My goat? <laughs> hey! Don't talk back to me like that! I don't want you in my life! Okay! Fine! 
Yeah. The man. Let's see it. <laughs> of something that you might find in your backyard on a summer day. A butterfly. A butterfly. A butterfly. When catching butterflies, use a net because they are spiny. If you touch them, they will ingest your body odor with <laughs> their poisons. The butterflies will Mate upon your head. Let's see it! <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is that copulation? <laughs> I'm just oh. here to watch porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and how about something that you might, um, hmm, that you might see in the sky? The uh, sun. Meteor. Uh, the, the, the sun, astral bodies, astral bodies, the sun. Once upon a time, I saw a astral beam in the sky. I was mystified. <laughs> what was that? Why is he flying through my body? <laughs> I didn't know where. Sing that, sing that. Why is he flying through my body? <laughs> song and we we made this form just for you we sing ding dong and we also sing about life so what's what's a life situation a life situation that you would feel awkward bringing bring your friend to your friend <laughs> how about you run into someone's ex at the DMV <laughs> <laughs> I needed to get my tabs. I ding dong. And then I saw Babs. I ding dong. She looked me up and down. I ding dong. And gave me quite the frown. I ding dong. Dong dong dong. I ding dong. Dong dong dong. I ding dong. They made me wait a while. I ding dong. I feel like a crocodile. I ding dong. I got into the line. I ding dong. But she's not looking at me fine. I ding dong. Dong dong dong. I ding dong. Dong dong. I still love you. I ding dong, but I don't know what to do. I ding dong. I said I gave you my heart. I ding dong, and I wish we'll part. I ding dong, dong dong dong, I ding dong 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 dong, I ding dong. Come on. All right. The next game we're going to play is New Choice. So I need uh, two players out here, and they're going to present a scene, but if I'm dissatisfied with what they're doing or saying, I'm going to say new choice, and they will have to come up with something new to do. So I need uh, an enclosed space. A chest. A, a chest. Okay, we're going we're gonna to go with a chest. So this is new choice with a chest. Eee. New sound. Look, man, look, 
I did weird. all That's the really digging, weird. and you get to do the cool opening part? That's not even awesome. Bill, it's okay, Bill. You, just look at all the tools we have in here to find the treasure of Gabundin. <sighs> One treasure after another with you. That's all this ever is. New choice. Man, this is like a Zelda game. <laughs> da, 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 da. Nothing but chests. <laughs> in college. Ooh. Nothing but shit. Oh, you're a dirty, you're a dirty guy, Bill. New choice. Oh man, you remind me of my dad. New choice. <laughs> oh man, I just that reminds me of when we got that other treasure and it was a bunch of cheese. New choice. That reminds me of the time that we got together and we sang about treasure. <laughs> Do you remember that? Thank God we're not going to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, rope. New choice. Hey, look, a bike. New choice. Hey, look, a punch in the face. New choice. Good. <laughs> hey, look, Hawaiian punch. <laughs> Can I have some? <laughs> oh, it's expired. Oh, I don't care. I'm just so goddamn thirsty. <laughs> New way to drink. You wait a drink. <laughs> Killed it. <laughs> Litter bug. I'm sorry, Bill. Jeez, I just I was so excited about treasure. Oh, would you call me? Dig, dig oh. with that. Oh, got it. New way to dig. We've hit bedrock. Oh man, this bedrock's hard. Maybe a hoe isn't the best tool for the job. New choice. <laughs> um, we need dynamite. <laughs> yeah, the dynamite, dynamite, some really explosive stuff. Yeah, uh, here. Did you look? Did you Did light you it? Light, light the fuse? No, you light it. I, I'm too scared to light it. New choice. <laughs> Boom! Oh! It's another goddamn chest. God damn it! <laughs> New choice. Hey, look, it's a contact lens. <laughs> Oh, d get, get, uh, uh, New way to put it in his eye. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's moistened. It comes moistened. Pre-moistened. Yeah. Thanks for watching Ow. my eye, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is new choice. Pre-moistened. Whenever you're hopping out of front, make sure that you pre-moisten whatever tool you are using. Before you put it in there. Uh, <laughs> yes. So I need four players out here. Uh, we are going to do a hoedown. We like music so much that we're going to sing a hoedown for you. So uh, this summer, coming up, there's going to be a lot of events. Uh, the French Festival, Beer Fests, um, the Bike Fest. So what is one of those things that you are looking forward to this summer? Kayaking. Kayaking. This is a hoedown about kayaking. In the saddle, grab my gear and begin to paddle. Oh my gosh, I grew a stash and I got it soaked with all this water splash. I was so excited, I got up on my boat. Then I forgot, I forgot to bring my goat. But that's okay, I don't need him because after all, he cannot. Out on the lake, except when I go to Michigan and there is a wake. I nearly dropped my big old stinking oar, then I would be out of a bore. Well, I went out kayaking all on my own. 
I didn't think it through first. I really should have known. Now I am stuck here. I don't know what to do. I can't work a kayak. Can you? I can't work. Can you? structure we like to do. It's it's to take off with the old Foxworthy, you know, the, you might be a blank redneck if, blah, blah, blah. Um, you're going to provide the the um, uh, occupations, and we're going to fill in the joke for you. So, um, to start off, what is a job that your father does? Bartender. Alright, bartender. We're going to go bartender. You might be a bartender if. If you're surrounded by a ton of bugs every night, you might be a bartender. If you are sick of but secretly love the song Closing Time, you might be a bartender. <laughs> if you instinctively know to stay away from the nuts, you might be a bartender. <laughs> if you love it when you hear the words take cover, you might be a bartender. If you are still okay with people telling you to give them two fingers, you might be a bartender. <laughs> All right, so we get a so you get the idea. Let's get another occupation, please. Dentist, and then we'll go with plumber. So dentist first, and then plumber. <clears throat> if uh, you have a plaque on your wall and plaque on your hands, you might be a dentist. <laughs> If you never forget to floss your friend's teeth, <laughs> you might be a dentist. <laughs> if you like giving your friends a shot in the mouth, you might be a dentist. <laughs> if you don't, if you no longer giggle when you hear someone say, can I feel your cavity? If kids don't trick-or-treat at your house anymore, <laughs> you might be a dentist. If Flo Rida is your favorite rapper, you might be a dentist. <clears throat> if you are pumped when you hear that the kids are into floss, you might be a dentist. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's get a hobby this time. Oh, wait. Plumber. Oh, plumber. No, 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 we were going to do plumber. plumber. That's yes, right, we'll do plumber. Yes. Plumber. If you're a professional at taking shit, you might be a plumber. If you say yes to crack, <laughs> if you're all backed up at work right now, <laughs> listen carefully. If you're always showing people your cock, you might be a plumber. <laughs> If you are pleased at your representation in pornography, you might be a plumber. If you deal with more clogs than a Dutch dance instructor, you might be a plumber. <laughs> uh, if you ever tried to save a princess from a castle and then found out she was in another castle, you might be a plumber. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go with the hobby. What's, what's a hobby of yours? Model airplanes. Oh, was that what? model airplanes? Model airplanes. All right, we're gonna model airplanes. <laughs> if you didn't have the money to get your pilot's license, <laughs> you might be in the model airplanes. <laughs> if you're really more of a glue enthusiast, <laughs> you might be a model airplane. <laughs> More games involved math. Magic the Gathering. If you work with too many mana and you'd like to work with more fee mana. <laughs> mana joke. <laughs> all right. Okay. Let's. Um, all right. So. So one more. Let's um, get. Let's get your favorite animal. Llama. Llama. 
getting tired of people asking you one hump or two. You might be a llama. If your name is often misspelled and they forget that extra L, you might be a llama. If you're the spitting image of a camel... Oh. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> And you know we're going to end on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, for this next one, can I get two improvisers on stage for this game called Seeing It? Two improvisers on stage. All right, this game is... These two gentlemen are going to be doing... Because you haven't scene. heard me sing enough. Yes. At any point, if they say something funny or unique... Um, and I just, you know, want to hear a song about it, I'm going to, like, make them sing about it. So, uh, to start with, okay, so these two, um, these two guys are, like, working on some activity. What is that? Plumbing. They're plumbing! <laughs> we got plumbers. All right, and go. <coughs> yeah. I think I've got your problem right here. Sing it! <laughs> common occurrence that I see in every house at some point you're dealing with a mouse, mouse. that little sucker got deep within your pipe every different kind of stripe it's an issue I often confront whenever I come to work And I end up looking like a big old hairy jerk when I give you the bill Cause fixing this ain't no thrill I'm sorry, it's just one of those things, you know? That mouse gets stuck in there, it can't get out and it's drowned, and now you got a dread drowned mouse problem. Well, we gotta get that mouse out of there. Well, I don't know what to suggest. You got any tools? <laughs> sure. I'm I... one of those organic plumbers that doesn't show up with anything but my two bare hands. <laughs> and a song in my heart. <laughs> I got a toolkit right here. Oh, thank you. That's mighty handy and convenient of you. Uh, so you gotta eat, like, fresh bread, maybe a baguette or something? I could really go for a baguette right now. Your methods are unconventional. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> sing it! <laughs> unconventional. Ooh. Unconventional. Ooh. You gotta be the weirdest plumber. I've ever met yet You're gonna get a dead mouse out of my pipe Using a baguette? <laughs> How does that work? It's not like the mouse can eat it So listen up, you jerk If it doesn't work, you can beat it Unconventional Or worse If you can't fix Problems in my place. I'm gonna take your fancy baguette and hit you right upside the face. I know I'll get back to work. So fix it now, you jerk. Cause I gotta go real bad. Unconventional. And I'm starting to get mad. Unconventional. Fix my pipe so I can poop. Unconventional. Well, give me that bread and then give me the other kind of bread when I'm finished with it. The rye? Yeah! <laughs> See, the baguette is nice and long. It's just the size of a typical house pipe for a 1950s Minneapolis home. <laughs> See, I just wedge it down there, and the baguette softens, much like a stool, and it goes up, and then you poke the mouse out, and boop! Oh, I caught the mouse! See? See? Now you can take a dump! <laughs> because, because, see, I... I got the mouse out with that baguette. Yeah. And, and the best part is, there's still a quarter left over to eat. And, but you're holding a dead toilet mouse in your bare hands. <laughs> I'll wash them. 
Right after I finish this tasty baguette. <laughs> no! Sing it! not on a map, a specific business, location, something like that. Okay. Um, I heard, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to combine those two and take McDonald's at the airport. Uh, and can I have the person who said McDonald's and the person who said airport, come on down. <laughs> we know how to get volunteers. <laughs> they don't even have to volunteer to be our volunteers. Have a seat. Yeah. Hello. Have a seat. What's your name? I'm Jenna. Jenna and John. John. Jenna and John. Jane names. Hopefully I can remember those. Uh, so this is a game called Pillars. Mahmoud and Steve are going to do a scene uh, involving McDonald's at the airport. However, sometimes when they do scenes, they forget what they were going to say, which is where they will come to you. They'll give you a gentle tap on the shoulder, and you can fill in the blank in the middle of their sentence with anything you would like to fill in that blank with. So let's give that a try. Steve, you want to go ahead and practice? Oh, man. I was walking down the street today, and I tripped over a huge... Vega. Baguette, just laying there in the sidewalk. Nice. That's mm -hmm. a callback. Yes. <laughs> and I was so hungry, I went to the store and I bought a... Turtle. Turtle, and I hate it. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> yes. And as you can see, your answers don't have to make sense within the context of the sentence. That is their job. Yes. So, uh, we have McDonald's at the airport. Our pillars are ready. Go ahead. I swear. It's just, I just got so much grease on my face. It's I just, know, man. Ugh. This, this place, this job sucks. Yeah, but there is zero sense of urgency. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know how you do it, Joe. You just, like, come in and just, like, every day you just, like, do your job, like, so well. It's really, it, it's, it's really easy. You just don't try at all. Wow. Just, you just, I'm just filling fries and thinking about... Girls. Girls. <laughs> That's all I'm doing all day long. Oh, just, just girls 24-7? Yep. Well, wow. That's all I do. That's a lot better than what I think about. I think about peanut butter, peanut butter and I'm allergic. <laughs> I'm allergic. <laughs> I shouldn't think about peanut butter at all. Because when I think about it, I just, I'm like dying. I just see visions of me eating peanut butter and dying. So you're thinking this big old can of peanut butter that I brought in. Whoa! He's probably uh, Whoa! <laughs> Joe! Joe! <laughs> Do you know what that's gonna do to me? What's it gonna do? It's to gonna, you? Uh, it's gonna make me laugh. Laugh. Awesome. Keep it away from me. I don't like laughter. Oh, no laughter. <laughs> I'm a very serious person. We're at the airport. There's no laughter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what is allowed? There's plenty of skateboarding. Skateboarding at the airport. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you bring a skateboard? I, of course, I brought my. Skateboard. Of course, you brought your skateboard. Oh, cool. We can use it to bash open this can of peanut butter. Okay, <laughs> I'll just roll it over to you, and you can keep it on that side. The peanut butter. Careful, careful, you almost knocked over the... Uh, d statue. The, d d d d the statue. <laughs> Are you okay? 
<laughs> no, it's the statue of Dede Dede Dede. <laughs> the royal statue of Dede Dede It is! You almost knocked over the royal oh. statue of Dede Dede Dede. From the country of... Crown. Crown! Yes. Country of Crown. Country of Crown. Way over there in the east side of... Baghdad. Baghdad. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Baghdad, but they don't pay bills. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, uh, hey cool. but, uh, it's, it's technically our break time now, so... Oh, cool. Yeah, let's skateboard it up. Why don't we... Awesome. Awesome. I, I made up a new trick. It's called yeah. the... Flipsy doodle. Of... Baghdad? McDonald's. McDonald's. Oh, the flipsy doodle of... McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> All right, convenient. <laughs> hey, well, I, I got this. Uh, oh, um, I made an, a, an amendment to the uh, training document because I'm the assistant manager. Cool, let me get off the skateboard while you talk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number one, we need to have more friends. Friends. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm uh, covered in peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a new second now, so everything resets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe. Uh, my shift is almost over. It's been fun. Your shift is over? This is my last day. What? You're leaving? Yeah. I'm going to go to... Uh, Tijuana. Tijuana. What are you going to do in Tijuana? Well, I'm, I'm going to... Uh... Oh, do you mind if I write, like... I, I wrote, like, a, a going away letter for you. I, I would love to hear this. All right. <laughs> Dear Joe, it's been so exhausting, exhausting working with you. <laughs> but I'm gonna make I'm gonna but it's okay because you are such a mensch. A mensch. <laughs> and I I I I mean I mean I'm even going to define what a mensch means in the letter. Oh that's it means <laughs> dot 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 the suspense is killing me. I'm hungry. <laughs> it mensch means I'm hungry. Fries? For fries, yes. I'll dip them in peanut butter. But <laughs> Joe, Joe. <laughs> mm. Always remember one thing. Okay. You are my jelly. Jelly. <laughs> 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 stage, and I'll ask those players to make a box-like configuration, uh, because we are uh, going to give you not just one scene in this game, not just two, not just three, but four scenes in the same game. Uh, it's a game we call Flip the Channel, so I get to be watching TV, they get to be all the various shows on TV, and I can flip through the channels at my whim, and I, can, I have a universal remote, so I can monkey with the TV shows however I want, speed them up, slow them down, forwards, backwards, that kind of stuff. So we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> so, for Zach and Bill, uh, give me a suggestion uh, of an animal that is not scary. Red panda. A red panda. Channel up. Ooh. And now for Zach and Matt, um, let's have a sport uh, that is not mainstream. Rugby. Ooh, I heard two at the same time. I'm going to go with cricket. Cricket. I'm going to go with cricket. cricket. Channel up. Um... Let's go with a <clears throat> skill that you have to practice for at least five years to be any good at. Juggling. Ah, uh, juggling is the one I heard clearly. Channel up. And uh, finally, just what is your favorite word? Blasphemy. Zebra. <laughs> <laughs> um, did, did someone say zebra over here? Zebra. zebra? Okay, because I want to take blasphemy and zebra. Okay. So, <laughs> blasphemy zebra is your suggestion. Okay. So go ahead and repeat your suggestion. Blasphemy, Blasphemy zebra. zebra. Channel up. Red Panda. Channel up. Cricket. Channel up. Juggling. Sure, uh, juggling. <laughs> and uh, we'll start there. Go ahead. 
Yo, bro. You ain't never seen this before. What have I never seen? Oh! Construction cones, okay? See? Start with one. Huh? Huh? You get the one going, okay? Wow. And then you get the second one, okay? Okay, you ready for this? And then three! Through us! Oh, okay, could you hear me that cone? You're such a beautiful specimen of uh, balance. Mind if I draw you? I draw you. Are you a professional drawer? No! <laughs> Channel up! Channel up! Alright, we're here in the African outback to convert the zebras. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, we can't have heretical zebras, you no. know. No, of course not, Father. Absolutely not. Of course not. not, Father Brown. Absolutely not, yes. yes. Let's, um, uh, first we must, uh, uh stalk them. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, there's one. Oh, there's one right now. Have you found the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart? <laughs> oh, they're running. Is God your Savior? They're, eat, they're running away. Did that one just flip us off? Oh! oh. oh. Channel up! I answered your personal ad. Uh, yes. Did you bring the... <clears throat> I'm pretty red. Oh! <laughs> oh, you're! Yeah. Oh! Hey. Yeah. I'm, I'm Pete, Pete, Pete the Red Panda, here, here for you. Okay, yeah, so, um... Yeah, do you want me to do anything weird? Because <laughs> <laughs> I may be open to it, just gotta tell me first. Well, I was, I was hoping you'd be able to, like, here's a, here's a Q-tip. You think you can clean my ears? What do you, what do you think? Whoa, that's real freaky, man. Yeah, well, it is Craigslist, so, you know. <laughs> you want Red Panda, get in, get get right in there. Yeah, I've, I've heard the Red Pandas do the best job. It's the latest uh, science says that. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh! Channel up! If we're gonna fit in in England, we gotta learn. Toss me that cricket! <laughs> You keep killing them. I, get, <laughs> I mean, they're so real gross. I get more. Well, it's real gross. Okay, I'll get a bigger one. Okay, it seems like he's got a thicker shell. Okay. okay. Toss me that cricket. Reverse. Toss me that cricket. Toss me that. Reverse. Toss me. Toss me that. Such a marvelous specimen. Remind me of the statue of da 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 da. <laughs> You've seen it? I've seen it with my own two eyes. Did you draw it? It's on page two, yes. Oh, you truly are an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> the best of all of the amateurs. Switch oh. to French. Ah, oui. Yes, it is a baguette. Oh, that's a big get. Thank you. Hey, man. I fall, 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 fall. Hey, 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 Message is not getting into their, their black and white stripes. Maybe we aren't asking enough questions. This is an inqu Inquisition, after all. You're right. Okay. What? Why? Super Don't you believe? slow motion. Why are you saying those things? Oh, shit. Here they come. Oh. Fast forward. <laughs> Run! Oh, we're running in circles! Channel up! <laughs> is that good? Is that good? Oh, that's, 
That's that the clean spot. Up for you? That's the spot. Do you do anything with toe jam? Draw a panda line. Yeah? This is your line in the panda sand? Yeah. <laughs> you do anything with panda cotta? Like ricotta? In the yeah. style of a western. There's only enough ricotta here for two of us. Good thing there's only two of us. <laughs> That's an astute observation there, cowpoke. <laughs> now I'm going to take three steps that way. <laughs> and if you haven't got your dirty mitts off my cheese, I'm going to shoot you full of You're going to reshot at me, huh? I'm going to Swiss all over you. Yeah. <laughs> well... You cheddar, turn your ass and run! <laughs> if you know what's good for you! Well, they have tied us up in bondage. Indeed! Yeah, we never should have... Why, why couldn't we just be content to stay on our own land and live amongst our own people? And do it our own Zimbabwe! I don't know! I don't know! <laughs> in the wrong profession. You shouldn't be drawn. I should be loving. No, you should be drawn. <laughs> Here, you take this coat. Oh, yes, of course. In the bottom. Yeah, can you give me that pad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super slow motion. time for one last game, but I wanted to take a second to come out here and thank you guys for coming out and seeing us, and thank you, yeah, give yourselves a round of applause, yes, right. um, and thank you for coming out and supporting Fearless, these people are some of the best people in the world, and they do this 50 hour comedy marathon to, you know, so that they can bring you some really cool stuff all year, all year long, so not only come to this every year, but go see the rest of their stuff too, because it's all of it is super awesome. Mm. So thank you to yeah. Fearless for having us out here. That's yeah. you know. yeah. yeah. all right. So now you guys have been sitting out there this whole show, going, "Wow, those are some really talented people. I really like them. I'm having a lot of fun watching them do that. I wonder what it's like to have sex with them." Right? That's what I was like. <laughs> so now you're going to find out like, how sex with us is like in this game called Sex with Us is Like. So you're going to give us suggestions, and we're going to tell you why sex with us is like those suggestions. So from somebody out there, since I can't see anymore, hey, there's people here. Sweet. Um, how about something that you, can, that you often find in a junk drawer, like tweezers or... Tweezers. Batteries. Batteries. I heard batteries. Sex with me is like batteries. I always go with a double D. <laughs> Sex with me is like batteries. Ever ready. <laughs> Sex with me is like a battery. You put your tongue on it and you'll jump. <laughs> Sex with me is like a battery. It keeps going and going and going and going. <laughs> Sex with me is like a battery. There's a positive and negative side. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's all our battery jokes. Uh, can I get another suggestion of something that you might want to give your friend? Flowers. Hedgehog. Hedgehog. You want to give your friend a hedgehog? Yeah, <laughs> Sex with me is like a hedgehog. It'll go faster if you give me a ring. <laughs> 
a slow roller joke. Yeah, sex with me is like a hedgehog. Afterwards, you'll want to curl up in a little ball. All right, another animal. Zebra. Zebra. Sex with me is like a zebra. Damn heathens. <laughs> Sex with me is like a zebra. By the end, we'll be a little horse. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think that's all the zebra jokes we have. How about an occupation? What's uh, what's something you wish you could be, but but just don't have the skills for? Yeah, yeah. Grave digger. Grave digger. Grave digger. <laughs> Sex with me is like Grave Digger. You'll be a little stiff. <laughs> Sex with me is like a Grave Digger. It's a pretty big undertaking. <laughs> Sex with me is like a Grave Digger. I always like going deep. Real deep. <laughs> Okay, how about, <laughs> how about an occupation that not a lot of people do anymore? Vigilante. You've been trying vigilante the whole night. I'm good. We're going to go vigilante. <laughs> <laughs> Sex with me is like a vigilante. You know Robin will be watching the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Sex with me is like a vigilante. It'll be just us. <laughs> Uh, sex with me is like a vigilante. Nowhere near as awesome as it looks in movies. <laughs> sex with me is like a vigilante. You'll feel better about yourself when it's done. <laughs> sex with me is like a vigilante. There's gonna be a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, now I have movies on the brain. What's like an iconic prop from a movie? Sword. The ring. Ruby slippers. Um, uh, I'm gonna go with ruby slippers. Sex with me is like ruby slippers. It's better if there's two of them. <laughs> Sex with me is like ruby slippers. Some, it just seems like it fits no matter what. <laughs> Sex with me is like ruby slippers. Call me the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is where we're going to end our show tonight. Woo! Thank you guys so much for coming on CNS and thank you for the show.